Jackson, that's the name of the greatest boxer you've probably never heard of, and it's all because of the colour of his skin. So now a new campaign has been launched to commemorate his achievements inside and outside the ring. Ian Haslam has been finding out more. Born in Clayton in Manchester in 1902 to a father from Sierra Leone and a mother from Ireland, Len Johnson would go on to become boxing's great uncrowned champion, prevented from competing in title bouts because of his skin colour. His is a hugely important story which many, including actor Lamin Torre, want people to know. To think that I've never heard of this story, it infuriated me and then it kind of inspired me. Len Johnson had 135 fights, 93 wins. That record is unbelievable. I mean, to think that he was never allowed to be British champion because of his skin colour is obviously outrageous. He wasn't allowed to compete for it because he wasn't born to two white parents. Uh, and that was an actual rule and law that was in place at that time. Here in Moss Side's boxing community, Len Johnson is revered as a hero, a feeling shared by his family. The things that he's done, obviously, in his boxing career, and plus what he's done uh, politically, and getting people aware of um, you know, the rights that they've got, um, oh, immensely proud immensely. Len was also forced into many battles outside the ring, not least here at the Old Abbey Tap House Pub in Manchester, the scene of an infamous incident in the early 1950s, by which point Len had long retired as a boxer and was working as a bus driver. He'd arrived there with his best friend, Wilf Charles, who was white. Wilf encouraged Len to come down here and order a drink, even though Len did a drink. And the landlady refused to serve Len. They went in to the mayor and complained, and they got a group of people I think 200, and they came back here and the landlady the second time served Ben Johnson and that became a national news item and it overturned the colour bar in most of the pubs in Manchester. This local community actually came out and then, you know, they was aware of it themselves and they was shocked and horrified by it. So in a way, in an adverse way, I'm glad it happened. Len became a political campaigner, often intervening in racial discrimination cases. He was a representative at the influential Pan-African Congress of 1945, hosted in his home city. When I was younger, I just heard that my great granddad was this amazing boxer. Um, he had loads of fights all over the world. And then as I got older and it was more sort of age appropriate, I learned about the injustices and the extra work that he did. And now especially that I've got my own son, I think it's just even more important. Which is why there's now a big push, backed by boxers, including Anthony Joshua and Ricky Hatton, for a Len Johnson statue. Literally last night we did a walk around town to look at possible locations with a number of different councillors and people involved in the campaign. He's a hero, and he's a Manchester legend, and everyone should know about him. I think for us, we want him to become a household name. It's more than just a statue, it's an inspiration, isn't it? It's recognition. It's what he deserved when he was here, but hopefully if it happens now, we can look down, it can be, you know, feel like he's been appreciated, recognised. And he'll be a part of. Ian Haslam, BBC News.